We're in where are we? Philippines, yay! We are about to spend the next three days in Boracay. I've always wanted to go, Aki's always hyped me up about it, and apparently it has one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. We're about to catch our flight right, right there, and uh, yeah, see you guys in Boracay. Bye! This flight is gonna be about an hour, and we are going to the island of Katilan, which is, I guess, the closest island to Baraka because you can't actually land in Baraka. So yeah, it's only gonna be an hour. Should be chill. From here, we have to take a series of uh, different modes of transport. I think we're taking a boat, I think, to the island, as well as a bus, as well, something like that. Uh, so, yeah. All right, here we go. We are on the Princia. Here we are in Boracay. We are about to take another bus over to the other side of the island. I want to go on the water so bad. I am perfectly the height of this van right now. I'm fine. Short ass. We are here at the Red Coconut. The weather is uh, decent. At least it's not raining. That's a good sign. Yeah, but I don't know. We live on an island, so like, I don't know. It could rain in five minutes. It could rain in five days. Who knows? Don't say that, because the <laughs> beach is right there, and I cannot fucking wait to check into this hotel so I can jump into that ocean. So this is Barakai Beach, considered one of the most beautiful yeah, beaches in the world. Probably. And you know what? Honestly, I uh, I can see why. All right, let's see how the water is, though. That's the, that's the real test to see if this is indeed the best beach in the world. Let's find out. Water is clear. Oh my god, it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is gonna sound horrible, but it feels like swimming in piss. And that water is so clear. Jesus. I mean, look, like, check out this water. All right, I'm going in. It's so warm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can definitely see why you think this is the greatest beach in the world. It's, it's definitely out there. Is that you standing? This is me standing. <laughs> I think the thing that's like impressing me right now with this beach is that there's like, it's an ocean, but there's barely any waves. Yeah, like it's, it's very still. It's so still. It's like very clear, right? You look out there and it's just like, there's barely any waves at all. Yeah. So there's like people on rowboats out there and like I saw a couple of people on stand-up paddle boards over there and the water is just so fucking warm. And clear. And clear, yeah. <laughs> Look aesthetic. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to give you a sense of like how shallow the, the low tide is right now, right? Like this is me standing up on the ground and I'm just gonna like walk out towards the ocean here. See, Aki's already like dying, but he's gonna keep walking. I'm still on the ground. Goodbye, crew. Oh, God, that sunset as well. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. Truly is like a paradise right now. It's very, very, <laughs> but we're gonna swim around for a little bit more just chill relax enjoy this weather and then uh we're gonna go to dinner of some kind i guess yeah i think they'll have fire shows tonight too oh yeah hopefully i can get some footage of that for you guys see you guys in a bit three two one. <gasps> oh shit they're doing a fire breathing show i want to go up to see it well, that was uh, the end of day one. I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different water sports that they have around the island. Pretty excited for that, but we gotta get up early for that. Um, so I am gonna go to bed now. I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs>
Good morning everyone, it is day two in Barakai. We've got a full day today, um, doing a bunch of activities. God, my hair is fucking exploding from this humidity right now. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food first, get some coffee, and then I guess we'll figure out what we're doing today. I don't know. I think we're doing a bunch of, again, water activities and stuff like that. I just hope it doesn't rain because it's kind of starting to look like it's getting cloudy a little bit. Uh, I guess we'll find out though. All right, let's go. Well, it's currently high tide right now. Like, you used to be able to walk all the way out to the light blue part there, and now it's just yes, completely right. filled up with water. How you doing, darling? You look good. Island girl. You're an island girl. This really does remind me of the uh, spooky island on the <laughs> Scooby Doo movie. What did you get, sweetie? I got a toffee nut frappe. Toffee nut frappe. It looks really good. That looks so sweet. I just got a cappuccino. I don't know how you're getting like hot drinks in this weather. I can't wake up unless it's a hot drink. No matter how hot it is. I mean, it's hot as shit today, but I need a hot drink even in like the desert. All right, let's try it out. Is it good? Mm. Let me try. That's actually not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Yeah? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I like it. Mm. And the whipped cream is so thick. Yeah, it's very refreshing. There's a lot of the traditional boats around here on this side of the island. And I guess this is our stop. But we're about to go on one of these uh, boats right here. My colors! Oh yeah, black and blue. Okay, Come on, go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. This boat is leaning back so hard. Look at all the parasailers out there. So, we're about to go aquanaut diving, which is basically strap a giant oxygen tank to the back and then wear this giant astronaut helmet. And uh, as the name suggests, you feel like an astronaut underwater. I've never done it before, have you? Uh, no, I've just gone snorkeling. Yeah, same. Uh, so I'm excited for this. But first we've got to take a lesson so that, you know, we don't die. All right, here we go. Time to go aquanaut diving. I'm about to sink. You're about to sink, uh, yeah, like eight, nine times your height. No pressure. All right, there she goes. My turn. Oh yeah, I can see them down there. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty nervous now, not gonna lie. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me in the suit, so I guess just enjoy the footage. <laughs> Jet ski time! Jet ski time! Jet ski time! <laughs> Rip onto it with DLI! <laughs> So fun, thank you. I'm gonna go jet ski. 
That was very, very fun. We didn't die on the jet ski. That was so much fun, but we're gonna get back to the hotel now, rest up a little bit, and then uh, maybe go get some lunch or something. Time for lunch. I got a mango shake. Honestly, as much as I think Australia does mangoes really well, Philippines definitely does the best. What's that? Uh, mango mint. Mango mint. Ooh. I've never had anything like this. Yeah, try it out. Mm. That's very minty. Oh, that's nice though. That's refreshing. We got food, y'all. We got some pancit, which is like these noodles. And then what do we got over here? Uh, that is fish sinigang. Fish sinigang. Fish. You had the pork sinigang already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever had the fish sinning on before. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, hell yeah. Let's dig in. Let's try this fish sinning on. <sighs> Ooh, that's really nice. Damn, take a big piece of fish here. Hmm. So Aki's getting her hair done downstairs. I had to go to the toilet, but look at these stairs that I had to go up. I don't, I don't think you can tell, but these are the steepest fucking stairs in existence. Oh my god. This is so steep. Okay, we made it. We are going on the traditional boat. Oh god, this is scary. Oh, thank you. Whew. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Hey, cheers. Cheers, bro. Look at that. Great way to experience the building. Approaching uh, our first destination, which is called Crystal Cove. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of things that you think of when you hear the name Crystal Cove. Uh, you know, serene landscapes, beautiful island. Uh, turns out it's that island over there. That dead ass looks like the spooky island from the first Scooby Doo movie. Like, I, so I'm pretty excited to uh, go check this island out. Hopefully, uh, we don't meet Rowan Atkinson. Here we are. Spooky Island, I mean Crystal Cove. Hell yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is something that you can't really do in Australia, which is island hop like this. No, I mean, we do have islands, but uh, they're a lot, lot further away from each other. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Have you ever been here? This one? No, this is my first time. Yeah. I'm yeah, I, last time I was here, I didn't actually uh, island hop that much. We kind of just stayed on the mainland. Oh, so. really? This is my first time. Okay, here. yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited to go check it out. Let's go check it out. Crystal Cove. Woo! There it is, Crystal Cove. Oh, there's a wishing well, sweetie. Huh? Oh, there's a wishing well. You have to wish for something. Okay. Oh god, that's actually deep well. I wish that this vlog gets a million views. She also wishes this vlog gets a million views. What? And a hundred thousand likes. Not say that! A hundred thousand likes she wishes for, so uh, you guys know what to do. This way to Majestic View and Cove number one. I guess that's the direction we're going. Honestly, the weather couldn't have been better. I know I keep like raving on about it, but like you have to understand Barakai kind of rains like one every two days. So, uh... oh, hello, puppy. Hey, how's it going? I'll let you, I'll let you hang out. Hi, baby. Yeah, as I was saying before I got distracted by the dog, uh, you know, Barakai and the surrounding islands, uh, it really does get super inconsistent with the weather. And, uh, you know, before we came here, it was not looking great, but now it couldn't be any better. Oh, dude, this looks like a Zelda puzzle. <laughs> it's like place an apple on each thing and then you unlock a shrine. Oh my god. All right, here we go into the spooky cave. Oh no, no, there's rocks here soon. Here we are in the mystery cave. God, with this many people here, it looks like a rescue mission. Oh, look at that water. That's crazy. What I think is kind of cool is that this island is so small that we've managed to walk from one end of the island to the other in about 10 minutes. 
which is crazy. Like, I've n I don't think, I've been on a lot of small islands, especially around Japan, but nothing as small as this. I just heard something really interesting about this island. Uh, you can actually rent the island for an entire day, like privately, <laughs> as, if, as if it couldn't be any more spooky island. I mean, just look at that water. That's crazy. There's another island over there in the distance that's probably just about as small. Going into a little jungle area. Oh, that's so much cooler. That breeze. Oh my god, I'm sweating so hard, bro. This, this heat. Whew, god damn. All right, you got a spiral staircase over the ocean, baby. <laughs> oh, there we go, mate. That's where we just were. We went all the way around to this side. Oh, we're about to go into another cave. Are those bats that I can hear? Yeah. I think there's bats in here. I can, I can hear them chirping. Oh. Those kids crying. Yeah. yeah. Those kids do not like the bat cave. Oh, you can see the bats. I wonder if my camera can pick it up. Yeah, there it is, there it is. They're flying around. Also, I love this like little pathway we got going on here. My feet are nice and cool. Let me just wash my face real quick. Oh, that's so nice. Well, that was Crystal Cove. Um, really cool, really unique island. But now, I want to get into that goddamn water. I want to go scuba diving, I want to go swimming. So that's exactly what I'm going to go do. Bro, I just found the best thing ever. There's a dude selling fresh coconut juice on a surfboard. You want to get one? Here, you should. Let's get one. I want the coconuts. Give me the coconut. That's so cool. Here you go. Thank, thank you. All right. Oh. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. And look at that. The freshest coconut juice ever. There's a fresh fresh here, man. <laughs> Ooh. That's nice. Oh, look at that. I'm going in the water, let's go. There's an ice cream boat now? <laughs> ice cream. Yeah. What do you want? Cornetto. Cornetto Magnum. Yeah, I'll get Cornetto and cookies and cream Magnum. Ice cream man showed up. Thank you, ice cream man. Thank you for buying ice cream. Man, that sunset. Never gets old. Aki's gone into the ocean over there, but I'm just chilling here, just enjoying the sun, because I am absolutely buggered after that. But my God, this has been a great freaking holiday. I needed this, bro. And I'm glad I could uh, take you guys along with me as well. I think uh, I'm definitely going to be back here in Barakai, because we've only really just explored like 1 20th of the things you can do here and the places to explore, so. I'm excited to explore this beautiful country more. And, and obviously, of course, like mainland Philippines as well. Absolutely love it. But I think I'm going to go take a nap before we uh, go get our final dinner because we're going home tomorrow. So sad that I get to experience this one last time. At least it's good, but so sad I have to leave and go back to reality. 
God damn it. If there's one thing I love more than mango, it's watermelon. And they have a watermelon shake right here. I mean, this place is mostly known for their mangoes, though. I want a goddamn watermelon shake. <laughs> You are yours. Hey. Ah, look at him. Okay. Oh, that looks good. It's our last day in Baraka. Or last half a day, I guess. I realized I completely forgot to do like the ending part to last night because I had two blue Hawaiians and then I just crashed because I was so tired from all the activities we did. But we are leaving little bit later in the afternoon today. So I figured, you know, we just go out for one last little stroll. Maybe go get a coffee or something. What looks like to be the clearest day. Yep. <laughs> literally not, literally not a cloud in the sky out there. Fuck's sake. Look okay, at that big. Alright. Last look at this gorgeous beach. I don't know how blue that is still. Well, I think uh, this might be a good place to end the vlog because the rest of the journey is just what you saw at the beginning, but in reverse order. So uh, yeah, definitely want to come back though. You know what? I can confirm it is probably the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. Really? Yeah. Yay. So well done, Baraka. I mean, you can't look at that and not think it's the most beautiful beach in the world. Like, seriously. Definitely would recommend. Definitely gonna come back to Barakai uh, eventually. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this vlog, guys. Hope you, you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Salamapo. Salamapo. Peace.